Okay, I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, Steve Kerr and um, also about my thoughts, I guess, after um, Game 2. All right, well, a lot of it's been about Space Jam I talked about, and um, that deals with Michael Jordan, and Steve Kerr actually played on five of them championships with Michael Jordan, and he was number 25, the mirror of 52. Um, And he is also 49 years old, we talked about Golden State being associated with lots and lots of 49. And I actually talked about him a long time ago, so I was just re-researching some of this stuff, and I realized Steve Kerr, it says, is the son of Malcolm Kerr. And uh, basically, he's he's a well-known person here. So, And uh, so his dad was murdered or assassinated, however you want to look at it, on at the age of 52, on one one eight eleven or one eighteen eleven eight of nineteen eighty four, also was born on oct eight eighty eight in nineteen thirty one, and that's interesting because so he was born in thirty one, and he died thirty one years ago, and even more interesting is October eighth. There are eighty four days left until the end of the year, so that's an eighty four. And then he died in 84, 31, and then 31 years ago. Just kind of weird. The word, or the name Malcolm Kerr adds up to 121, 49, and 58. 49 is Revelation. 121 is Revelation. Also in uh, Jewish gematria, he adds up to 239, or 329, which is 329 is the 88th day of the year. So just kind of interesting that the uh, Warriors went to the finals this year also golden state plays in oakland they're from oakland california which san francisco bay area but oakland equals 31 so i guess just found that kind of interesting don't know not necessarily saying it's going to mean anything um one thing though if if uh golden state does lose the next game the series will be three to one so another 31 and if it's anything like space jam like i had talked about uh, they'll come back and they'll win it all after being down a lot because that's what happened in Space Jam. And they still have the 23 and they have the Monstar. But I don't know. It, they're really playing it out like LeBron is supposed to be Michael Jordan, even though Golden State doesn't have a Monstar. And the reason I say that is because they're just they're totally bragging up LeBron and it's all about LeBron being the greatest ever. And also... Have you noticed how all the players on the Cavs get keep getting hurt, just like um, just like in Space Jam where they all get hurt, and then they have nobody left, and they have to bring in, and then Bill Murray shows up, and then the score magically changes, and then Jordan dunks it. So, like I said, if Golden State wins it, they're going to probably be down by a lot and come back and surprise everybody, but they're really making it seem like the Cavs are the – the Space Jam Looney Tunes. And what I mean, you had, um, so in the first game, Irving got hurt and he's out for the rest of the season. And then the last game, when Shumper hurt his shoulder or whatever it was, he was gone forever and they kept making it seem like he wasn't going to come back and play. And then uh, Della Vadova, it, he played the whole game, whatever, but then I seen that there was an article about how he had to go to the hospital to get an IV after the game. So then, you know, just another person, like, hurt or whatever. And it was uh, due to cramping, so he had to go get an IV due to cramping. But uh, just kind of interesting, you know, they had... And then they already had... uh, uh, I can't think of the tall guy's name right now. Um, They have Kevin Love, who was hurt. Uh, Verizhou. I couldn't think of his name for some reason. He was even on my fantasy team last year, a couple years ago or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so just kind of interesting. They had all these players hurt. Nobody thought they were going to win, and now they're ruling, pretty much. And then you got King James and whatnot. But, I don't know, like I said, if if Cleveland Cleveland goes up 3-1, and then Oakland is 31 and whatnot, who knows? I don't know. I'm, I still want to stick with my Golden State because prediction, because that's what I said. I really feel like it's still that for whatever the reason, even though it really, really seems like they're, I'm completely wrong, and I probably am completely wrong. Another thing I want to point out, Della Vadova, so he nobody even really heard of this guy really until this year or whatever. And 
or I guess in the finals and the playoffs or whatever, he's starting to be a crowd favorite and everything else. But, uh, like, he's number eight. Now, remember last year when the Spurs played uh, the Heat and Patty Mills would just had a crazy, a crazy um, awesome series? And Patty Mills was also number eight. And he was born August 11th, 88, in 1988. He's also the guy who, when he played for the Blazers, um, after he made three-pointers, he was the one who started the trend of doing the owl eyes, you know, the, the infinity owl eyes, after he makes a three-pointer. Here's a better picture of him being number eight for the Cavs. Just wanted to point that out. So, Patty Mills owned last year, and the Spurs went on to win. And then he is owning this year, and he's number eight as well. So who knows? They'll probably go on to win. But I'm going to stick with the other pick. And the last thing I want to point out um, is that most of the time, the NBA MVP of the season doesn't win the championship. And there's this article here on chasing23.com. It was like, like the first one that popped up when I searched for the MVPs that won the championship. And it's really interesting. So chasing 23, like chasing Michael Jordan, LeBron is 23, but uh, who knows? You know, I've talked about it's all Space Jam, so chasing 23. And the interesting thing is that um, so there's only been 20 people sent to 2011. And this article is even on 5-2, if you found that interesting. But uh, it says 20 of the 55 people have went on to win the championship but lebron has done it twice since then so it's actually 22 so the interesting thing is that if it's chasing 23 that means steph curry could be the 23rd one it's also would be the uh 59th uh mvp that was given out or whatever so stephen curry was the 59th mvp winner of the regular season and also, I don't know, it just makes me wonder, because they don't want anybody to be Michael Jordan. They don't want, Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan, and they don't want anyone, they want to be able to brag people up to make them be in the shadows of Michael Jordan, it seems like. They don't really want anyone to be better than Michael Jordan, um, just like Kobe Bryant. He's still good, but he has to fake that he's hurt. It's ridiculous. And also, 22 has just been surrounded with, All these other numbers, 22 always seems to pop up along with them on every different section or part or whatever I'm talking about. So I I wouldn't think that they're going to let him win it to have 23. But like I said, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what the full story is. So, But, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, Just wanted to kind of touch up again. Um, I just – the Cleveland has been owning too. If you watch any any of the games, they've completely dominated the whole every game. Somehow Golden State came back and won game one. Also, I'm just gonna throw this in here. Um, the other day on six six, uh, I was pretty sure that A Rod was probably gonna hit his six hundred and sixty sixth home run, career home run. Um, I talked about that way back in the beginning of May uh, when he hit six sixty, and I thought, oh. They're probably going to wait until 6-6 for him to hit his 666. But he didn't hit it. So it's making me wonder if they're actually waiting for um, a different day here. But I'm, I'm wondering if they're waiting until uh, June 18th, which would be 6-1-8. And the reason I say that is because um, I was just told by Rita 511 to check out um, Phi. Not Phi Day, but just Phi in general. It's... Um, Let's see here. I know it describes it here. Oh, it's just, it's the Greek letter used to originate the set of numbers 1.618. It says, hence, the de- the designation of June 18th or 618. And so it's 618. And basically, I did a little bit of research into it, and a lot of people talked about how um, it's actually... They think it's the correct interpretation interpretation of 666 instead of, so it's 616 instead of 666 in the Bible. or it, I mean, like I said, I did very minimal research, but I'm just wondering if that's what they're trying to do here. So they're actually waiting for his 666th home run to be 
on 616, so it makes sense with the 666. Anyway, just going to leave it at that, and um, have a good one.